The entryway of my home has become this dumping ground of boxes that need to be broken down and some boxes that haven't even been opened yet. And then my other entryway is clutter I've decided to get rid of but haven't actually dropped off and gotten all the way out of the house. I find that to be the absolute hardest part of decluttering. Once I've made the initial decision of what's going to go, why does it feel like the thousand mile journey to get it from my back door to the car and then from the car to the place where it's going to live? Anytime I procrastinate on taking care of things that absolutely need to get done, that is clutter to me. I'm starting small today and taking my life back into my own hands by breaking down these darn boxes and getting them all the way out of the house. Let's get some things decluttered and donated and out the door. This was a delivery heavy week. I got two boxes of Samson's dog food, one box of my meal delivery, two boxes of a prescription medication, a large box with a new dog bed for Samson, another large box for a chair that I bought for the corner of my living room, which I'll show you guys in a little bit. But I'm finally making decisions on things that I've been procrastinating on for so long and getting my space completed. I am letting go of perfectionism and letting good enough be good enough and just working with what I've got to get my space into a place where it is fully functional and in a way that I like it. I don't play guitar really. I I went to music school for guitar many years ago, but I never practiced much. But I love to have a guitar in a home. And I finally bought a stand for my guitar. So I decluttered the guitar case. It was this big bulky hard case that was living in my hallway closet. And I have a friend who has a music school in Texas um, called let there be rock. And so I just gave him my old electric guitar, its case, my guitar case, my acoustic guitar case, my drum machine. I got rid of all of that stuff. My ring light, I don't think I told you guys. So he took that in his car back to El Paso. So that was taken care of maybe like two months ago. So this always has just been leaning up against a wall. My acoustic baby. I just think it's always nice to have musical instruments in a house out for anyone to play if you're having a dinner party game night people over i've had this for many years so i bought this really simple one looks like is that it I'm going to put this in my little reading nook corner. First, I need accountability to carry all of these boxes down to the recycling area and all of my trash. Okay, so I'll bring it down to the trash recycle area. I hope this all fits. It's a lot. <laughs> Continue. This 
quite a trek from my unit down the stairs, through the back of the building, through the gate, through the parking area, to the recycling bins and carrying down multiple boxes and bags and then coming back up the stairs, grabbing more. So it's all done. It's all done. It's all, it's over. At least that part is over. Now I have a box of items that I wanted to sell and I keep stalling on it. And I realize it's because I need to go on the website and figure out, you know, I think I have to like print out a tab or figure out where they accept the box. It's like in my mind, I think go sell your clothes at this place but there's like four other steps that need to happen before that happens. And when I don't break it down, I just don't do it. And it sits in my car for like three months or sits by my back door for three months. And I break it down into little mini micro steps and complete the cycle and drop it off today. I think it's FedEx that I'll drop it off at. So let's, let's work through my donation bags and boxes. Anything I can do to make my life easier, I will do it. Thank you, Good Chop, the sponsor of today's video for keeping my freezer stocked so I can make a delicious home-cooked meal from scratch whenever I want. And I don't have to go to the grocery store. Good Chop delivers fully customizable boxes. They have everything from 100% grass-fed beef to USDA choice and prime cuts to free-range chicken to wild-caught seafood. All products are sourced from the USA, so it's your chance to support local farmers and independent ranchers. And my favorite part is their beef never has any antibiotics or added hormones. It's basically your chance to have quality meat or seafood delivered straight to your doorstep. I've been using their bacon every morning for breakfast this week. Just made the most delicious Italian zucchini noodles with their wild-caught shrimp. They have a 100% money-back guarantee. Love Good Chop or get your money back. Go to goodchop.com slash YouTube and use code CARLA120 or click the link in the caption below to get $120 off across your first four boxes today. Again, go to goodchop.com slash YouTube and use code CARLA120 or click the link in the caption below to get $120 off across your first four boxes today. Thank you, Good Chop. Mm. Outstanding. All of this is stuff that I've decluttered from my house. It just hasn't made it to its new intended destination. So what I'm going to do is make this very organized so that I know exactly where I'm going, exactly what's going where. This box is the one I want to seal up and send off to thread up. Then I'm going to make a bag of books that I've taken from the little library by my house that I want to go and drop off. That's what will go in here. It's all like mixed up right now. And then I'll have a box of items that I want to drop off for donation. And I think those are my three stops today. It was just to fill my bucket up to the top. I have to make sure that I am breaking things down into the teeniest, tiniest steps in order to fully execute my plan beginning to end. And I think that trips a lot of us up because it's one thing to make the decision, that first phase of deciding what am I going to keep, what I'm going to let go of. But then all those items that we're letting go of, they have to go live somewhere else. And that's the tricky part. This time it's pretty straightforward. I know where all of this is going. It's just a matter of organizing and sorting it all so that I can do easy, quick drop-offs. One, two, three, four, five. This was my book. Six, seven, eight. Nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, all 14 books are books that I took from there and now I'm returning. This one was mine that I'm done with. So 15 books out of the house. Yeah, yeah. Okay, this will be four. Donate. This is something I use for Samson when I go to sit pet sitters and it came back broken. I, I can't stand to have something broken. This is just gonna go in the trash. 
These are old wool dryer balls. I'm gonna get a new dish towel. This is just going in the trash. This corner of my living room has been a dead zone where I've just had a bunch of different art leaning against the wall. I'm finally gonna turn it into a reading nook. Again, I'm letting go of perfectionism. I wanted to find the perfect reading chair and ottoman, but that is gonna take time. Like finding my console and making that decision, it took me a year and I'm not exaggerating. I sold my previous console a year ago and it took me a year to buy the new one. So this is a chair I found on Amazon. It was a hundred bucks. It's comfortable, it serves the purpose which is I wanted an area to sit down for reading and doing stuff on my laptop and just a comfortable place to lounge with a high back. So again, working with what I've got, this isn't even a throw, this is a scarf I got from my friend, Michelle, whose closet I decluttered, the pillow I've had for 10 years since I first moved in, and then the guitar stand is something I have wanted literally for a decade because the guitar is something I would just lean against the wall and it's always falling over, and now it has its own dedicated stand. What a simple fix, and what a big difference. I was always knocking this over. It looks nice. It's honestly embarrassing how long it has taken me to hang art on these walls. I think I have one piece in my bedroom that a friend helped me with, and then I have a smaller piece that I was able to do on my own. But to hang this large piece of art that I want to keep up on the wall, I mean, I look professional right now. I look like I know what I'm doing. I thought I might be able to figure it out, but measuring is about as far as I got. I don't feel confident in doing that. I'm starting to also doubt my ability to hang this center. You know, you need like a leveler and I just, right? Like how do people hang art e evenly? Shoot. I don't think I'm gonna be able to do this, you guys. <laughs> oh my gosh. I don't wanna mess it up. Dang it. Oil. thought of a great way to better organize my cords and what I'm doing is I'm using my label maker to create little tags for each one of these cables that plug into a different item because I have so many of the same cords and I never know what they go to. So I'm getting rid of the ones that are duplicates and then descriptively tagging the ones that I'm keeping. Mini light. It's going to go on this cord here. It's the worst when you don't know what any of these go to. So I feel like that's a good solution. Everything in this box is gonna go into my donation box that I'm gonna go drop off. This is all of my equipment for YouTube. This is a project, I wanna put these on the wall. They're smart plugs. I'll do that another time. This is extension cords. Uh, I pared it down but I'm gonna keep those stored. And then this is a return here. My strange addiction buying this dog dog beds usually he's not even sitting in it he loves to just lay on the floor this is the one he's had the longest so I'm definitely keeping this one keeping this one because it's portable and I can put it in the car I just bought this one I think it's gonna be too hard for me to return the idea was that it, it has memory foam and this one has memory foam but it's a little too small so he rarely uses it this one I think he might eventually get used to. If I can return it, I, I would, but I, I think it's gonna cost too much to ship it back. If I can at least go from four dog beds back to three. What do you think? Is that okay if I get rid of one of your dog beds? You're, you're always on the floor. 
You never are laying in your bed. I'm really surprised you're in your bed right now. Can I get rid of one of your dog beds? This one over here. Frank Animal Shelter. Hi, do you take donations of uh, used dog beds? Yes, we do. Okay, uh -huh. okay, we have good. A donation bin at the front door inside the lobby. Oh, okay, awesome. All right, thank you. Yay, okay. Not you, sorry. He went and laid in this bed. That's the one I was gonna get rid of. This is a box of stuff to sell. This is a box of stuff to donate. Donating that dog bed. Um, this, if I can return it, depends how much it costs to ship. Otherwise, it's coming back home with me. There's two pieces of art down there and then a giant Ikea bag of other stuff and another bag of books to drop off. Okay, let's go. This is the hardest part of decluttering is lugging all of this stuff, multiple trips down to my car and then going to multiple different spots to drop off the items. So I think we're going to four different places to take care of rehousing these items. But I know it's gonna feel amazing once I get it all out of the house and I'm gonna treat myself to some kind of sparkly beverage when I'm done. Inch by inch, it's a cinch. I was gonna put this off until tomorrow, but I know I just wanna complete it, finish it, complete it today and the place will feel much lighter. off all these books because that will be an easy win. It's a lot of good books now. Goodbye books. Goodbye. One place down. Three more to go. Let's go to Out of the Closet for donations next. Dropping a bag off. Okay. Okay, I dropped off my big bag, but I kept my Ikea bag. I dropped off all the stuff in the Ikea bag. I dropped off my box of clothing. I dropped off some stuff that was in my car, uh, like storage container thingies that I don't need, and two pieces of art. They won't take the dog bed, so I will have to take that to the um, animal shelter. But first I'm gonna go to FedEx to drop off the thread up uh, box and see what it would cost to ship the dog bed. Okay, I'm already starting to feel better now that I'm getting some momentum going and getting this stuff taken care of. Cause it doesn't feel good to have clutter and unfinished tasks hanging over your head. So it's about time I take care of these things and move on with my life. Well, I didn't know FedEx closes early, but closes at 6 p.m. on Saturdays, and it's Saturday, and it's 6.07 p.m. right now. That's okay. At least it's in my car. This guy's also realizing they're closed. Yeah, we're too late, buddy. All right, I'm proud of myself. I got a lot done. It was a lot of work. I'm done for the day. I'm just realizing how little I really need, but I, at the same time, I wanna have a very well-decorated, beautiful home. I want it to be cozy and comfortable and a real full home, um, but I just don't want like an ounce of anything that I don't need, I don't use, and that I don't love. So that's all for today. Thanks for hanging out and I will see you in the next video. Bye.